if Czech comes to Arsenal and we buy a striker, I'm putting £1,000 down and Arsenal to win the league. You're not putting down £1,000 to Arsenal. I'll take a picture of it and send You're it. not doing that. Hello everyone, I'm Poet and who are you? David Vrianic. And this is the show where you leave your comments below and some of them are, hmm. some of them are. Hmm. And it's an epic moment in this show and it only goes... Comments of the week where we talk last week's comments and any other business. And today we speak about the Under-21 Championships and... Copa America! A Serbia won the Under-20 World Cup! Yes! Yes! Come on, lads! I like you. Only one place to start. England Under-21s. Vuj, please read the comment. I will indeed. Thank you, Base God 761 says, England Under-21s sneak through the playoffs. What happened to Kane? England versus Sweden, under 21. Promising. Pavel Nedved, the legend himself, watching from the stands. With his gold locks. He, with his gold locks. I'll tell you what, mate, Goldilocks wasn't impressed. That game was abysmal. Talking about Harry Kane, I would have used the excuse that he must be suffering from burnout. But considering the fact his season really started in November, December, I don't understand how the kid's tired. I honestly said from day one, We'll find out who the real Harry Kane is when he has to play under pressure. Now, in that England setup, in that England team, he happens to be the, the, the biggest player out of the 11. Yeah, he's not performing, but I think, yeah, it's too early to put the blame on him. Uh, honestly, that under 21 side, to me, it goes down. The root of the problem is the coaching staff. Pritchard on the left hand side, too much creativity. They're treating him like Joe Cole when he first came out. You need, how, you need to know how to use them players, and England don't have a clue. But then that's, Danny Ings. That's a oh my that's a God. <laughs> Don't go into Danny oh Ings. That's our star player God. for next season. What I think anyway is it's a deeper rooted issue in English football that we we are outdated. We've almost like gone past our sell by date. We can't keep playing the same way. And this is why there is such a lack of success at international level. This is why teams like Portugal, Spain, you know, they, Germany, their systems are so much more, you know, up to date. They're more in touch with modern football. And I think we're stubborn. I think English football is so stubborn and it doesn't want to grow up. Luis, who's been playing well in your eyes now? I think Denmark are going to win this. Yeah? I think they've, they've really turned out to win. Uh, the, the boy playing up front is, is out of this world. Yeah, it's going to be Denmark, and then you're looking at possibly a Portugal. Speaking of Portugal, myself and Vuj, we're in Geneva to watch the senior team, and I got to see Pirlo. We were indeed. Here's a little sneak peek. <laughs> If you want to see the full video, click the link on the end board and head over to copper90.com where there is an article on the game. All right, moving on to the Under 20s World Cup. Comment here from Sean Booth who says, Under 20 World Cup final, Serbia 2, Brazil 1. Serbia, yeah, yeah, Svetski champion. Svetski champion. Svetski champion. That game was just non stop. It was free flowing back and forth. Brazil, um, obviously, had the upper hand, okay. definitely favourites to win the game. Um, Pereira scored an amazing goal, slalom through five players, bottom corner, and that's when I thought, are we really going to be able to get our heads up and, and, and go for it again? But what these young players have is a lot of heart, and they just got their heads back up, defended resolutely, attacked really well, counter-attack was very, very good. 118th minute, Brazil were going for it, cheeky little counter-attack, two nutmegs, and a finish in 180th minute, and I thought, we're not going to blow it now, are we? We just can't blow it now. And we won it. It's our first major success, and it meant so much to the players. Big, big, big mention to Ponovic, who was the manager, who set them out to be very attacking from the off of the tournament. Two men playing up front, and it was just so organised. Copper fam, tell me what you think about Serbia winning the Under-20s World Cup, and who do you think is going to win the Under-21s European Championships? I'm going to put my money on Czech Republic just because Ned Bedder was there to watch. Denmark. That's it. Time to move on to Copa America. And SK Gamer has got this comment here saying, Jamaica knocked out of the Copa America. Yeah, man. Three defeats. Lost 1-0 in each game. But hey, can I just say in 98, we lost 5-0 to Argentina. Fast forward, we're losing 1-0. And, you know, you might have lost two or three games, but you got a selfie. Mr. Brown himself got his phone out. I don't know where he got his phone out, but... There he is, taking a selfie with Messi. Jamaica actually performed kind of well. They were a thorn in everyone's kind of sock. They only lost 1-0 each game. You know, the second game, a very unfortunate goal to concede. It was just an unfortunate bout of events. Thank but you for wasting my time, Jamaica. 
Uh, and the person that could potentially have wasted some of Brazil's time is Neymar. Now, he's, he might get banned for the whole tournament. There seems to be a pattern of just anti neymar -ness going on everywhere. Oh, my Lord. The Where? media are against him. Apparently, he's always diving. And the guy rolled around like he's been shot. I know he's toe-punted it into his face. Exactly. But he was rolling around like there was no, no, no. tomorrow. I Neymar think, has a responsibility. I hate that stuff. He's the star player in the Brazilian side. Oh, All the know. kids look up to him. The game is done. They've lost to Colombia. He gets the ball, kicks it in man's face. Just allow it. Neymar, just walk off the field. It's just... I, get, I get what you were saying. I, I mean, it's, it's understandable he's going to miss a few games. But I just think there's just a general anti-Neymar campaign going on. And I'm against it. Leave Neymar alone. Hashtag justice for Neymar. But what do you guys think? Should Neymar miss the rest of the tournament or not? For me, it's Neymar. Justice for Neymar. Leave him alone. For me, it's Neymar. You've got a responsibility. Just act accordingly. Also, leave a comment and let us know. Not only if selfies should be taken after a game, but where did Brown get his phone from? Where? All right, before we move on to the next segment, Vooj, can I just let you know about some of the comments that have been flying in about last week's performance, mate? Yeah. Jack has said, now it's summer again, you should bring back transfers, transfers, rumours, rumours. Ah. That sounds like the song. It will be 2000 said, bring back the transfer song. Ah, and there was loads of other okay. comments. Sam about Spira, look, Philly, <laughs> Michael Fox, Jeremy Fox, <laughs> George Bush, everyone, <laughs> they all want it. What the people demand, what the people want, we bring. So, in the name of transfers, transfers, rumours, rumours, transfers. Transfers, 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 rumours, 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 rumours. I like you. Bougie. Read the first comment, bro. Well, indeed, it's from the feck in Egypt, who says, Falcao signing for Chelsea. Will he be another Torres or Shevchenko? Mourinho actually came out and said it's, he's so upset at people's perception in England of Falcao. So um, I feel if he does go to Chelsea, it's actually going to be a success. I think Falcao has more of that South American mentality. Yeah. So when he comes back, full fitness, with a Mourinho, with that quality side around him, with his mate, basically his mate, Diego Costa, that, that just looks like chemistry 100. Leave a comment, let us know what do you think, Copper fam? Will Falcao be the new Torres or Shevchenko? Oh, as Falcao checks out. Guess who might check in, son? I'm really excited about this. Arsenal to miss out on the signing of Czech. Let's leave it right there because that's bang out of order, mate. I'm not reading that comment anymore. Let me tell you something. I heard cheeky little rumour that that deal is actually wrapped up. Tony Roberts, our goalkeeping coach, has left and gone to Swansea. Anywhere Czech has gone from the start of his career up until now, he brings his goalkeeping coach with him. If Czech comes to Arsenal and buy a striker, I'm putting £1,000 down on Arsenal to win the league. You're not putting down £1,000 to Arsenal. I'll take league. a picture of it and send You're it. You're not to doing that. Like I said, if we sign right, a striker right, okay. and Czech, right. I'm putting €1,000 down for Arsenal to win the league. Alright, so you're going to so, shake my hand. Shake your on camera. On camera. On camera. That if you guys sign a striker... A good striker. Oh. Uh, Why am I going to say... Oh, so if we sign flipping Ian Wright out of retirement, I'm right, like, yeah, we're going to win the league. A good striker. And that's not subjective. That's by good striker. Good striker. And check. You're going to put down a thousand euros. Euros. For Arsenal to win the league. Yeah. Copper fam, what do you think? Can Arsenal win the league with check? And a good striker. A good striker. I think you'll challenge. Another team that might challenge is Manchester United. And guess who they're linked with, mate? Schweizensteiger to United, how amazing would that be? Too amazing. What's frustrating me is like, you know, like, oh, cool, I'm a Liverpool fan, I get it. Ha oh, ha, you're a Liverpool fan. Ha oh, ha, you support Liverpool. Ha oh, ha, you're a Liverpool fan from London. Ha oh, ha, I've heard it all 1,750 times. You guys are linked with Czech, yeah? Man United are linked with Schweinsteiger. And Ramos, apparently, if the Hayer and, goes to Real Madrid. And Ramos. We have bought a chart and athletic player, Bogdan. Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Who was amazingly poor for England. And watch. James Milner. Who, who, the most exciting thing about James Milner is a parody account on Twitter about him. But Man United, policy, transfer policy, well done. You've got the money. If you get Schweinsteiger, I think he's a great player. And I see United challenge. I think, you know what? I feel the league is getting excited again. Oh, 100%. I think last year we had a bit of a blip. Next season, I'm oh, steaming up. I can't wait. If Manchester United do get Schweinsteiger and Ramos, it will be massive. All right, Copper fam, look, if there's any transfers that you lot know about, make sure you're leaving comments and you let us know. And also let us know about all the transfers we've just spoken about. Who do you want to see come to your club and who potentially is moving? Vij, now it's time to address the millions. 
How millions? 966,000. Millions of Copper Night fans all across the world, not on Tumblr.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. It is that epic moment in a show that can only be described as in Afrikaans. Any get and the sake. Any get and the sake. Last week, me and Vuj asked you who will qualify for the Euros, and a lot of people went for the home nation. That is right, indeed. And Northern Ireland got loads and loads of love. Good luck, lads. Last week, we also asked. Who is going to win the Cup of America? And guess who most of you lot have said, man? Chile! Chile is playing at home. Why not? I want Peru to win it. Fair enough. I'm going with Sanchez. Now, best of the week's comments. Let's go to the first one. Happens to be from Matt Jennings. He says, if Rooney wasn't English or didn't play for United, you would both think he's quality. Let's be honest. When have we said he's not quality? Hey, Matt, when have you heard me say yeah. that? I mean, he's, have you heard me say that? he is pretty much a world-class player. You know, he's, the talent he has is undoubtable. I criticise him purely because I don't feel he's playing to the level that he should. That he can play. If I didn't criticise him, it's because I don't think he's that good. Like when Darius Vassell used to play for England. Wayne Rooney, he's, he's been scoring international goals from 18 years old. Next one is from Yuzil07, who says, Eden Hazard better than Neymar. <laughs> Lol jokes. Sarcasm. Oh, oh, oh man was going to get mad there still. Lol but jokes. Yeah, um, he's not. But Eden Hazard plays in the Prem, so I would, I would like to see Neymar in the Prem because, you know, he's high-flying in the La Liga. Not the fastest league in the world. I mean, it's fast, but it's not exactly a cold, wet, windy night at Stoke. It isn't Blackburn away. Well, they're not even in the Prem. But do you know what I mean? Let's, let's, get, let's get Neymar down to Stoke away. That is how you determine quality. Next comment here is from Mr. Bryce. MLS next season. Gerard, Lampard, Perlo. Kaka, uh, Dino, uh, Villa, uh, Drogba. Uh, chill, chill, chill. It's becoming the Legends League. Yeah. It's becoming the Legends League. The, but not even that, it's just the Legends League. It's like when you bring out the Legends in FIFA. I would like to go for a game. I am watching, this, 100%. I want a Ronaldinho top. Can one of you guys send me one? That would be very nice of you. Copper fam, we have come to the end, man. It's only the end of the show. Don't worry, we're back next week. And we want to know, will Falcao be a flop? at Chelsea, because it looks like he's signed, and can check the Arsenal's... No, David Seaman! Come on, check! Calm I believe in you, down. son! Calm down. Will England under-21s go further in the competition? And Schweinsteiger and Ramos, will they fit in at United in the Premier League? <sighs> All right, people, listen. You have to like, you have to share. Leave a comment. It's comments below. And most importantly, subscribe to Copper 90. That is it from me. Remember, 1,000 euros if we win the Premier League.